Good evening viewers. As you know, we at the Earth Limited are committed to bringing you stories on sustainability. A recent example of a completely unsustainable starting of a huge 370 megawatt power plant right next door has jolted us out of our peaceful lives and is threatening our physical and mental health. The Karnataka Power Corporation Limited LPG power plant at Yelahanka, Bengaluru is all set to launch officially next month on the 28th of April. The power plant is at present doing trial runs. It is at a distance of about 150 meters from my apartment complex in Yelahanka called as the Heritage Estate. Right opposite us are two more apartment complexes of the Nagarjuna Construction Company, which are about 300 to 400 meters away. There are more apartment complexes all around us. And even as I speak, the power plant is making a loud noise as it runs and spews large amounts of red smoke into the atmosphere. The Karnataka Power Corporation Limited cut down about 700 to 800 trees in the area about two years ago when they began construction and the temperatures have since risen and they continue to rise. The noise is already causing us to be in an irritable state and playing with our blood pressures. The smoke will cost us our physical health and is already playing havoc with the respiratory systems of our residents. There is the Yelahanka Puttenahalli Lake and Bird Conservation Trust near to us within one kilometer, which is around the Puttenahalli Lake. We have birds coming there to roost. The water will be affected as will the birds by the rising temperatures, sound pollution, as well as the polluted air. A few questions arise. How did KPCL, the Karnataka Power Corporation Limited, secure permission for such a huge thermal power plant smack in the middle of a residential area? Government rules state that there can be no residential areas for a perimeter of at least 10 to 12 kilometers and a green belt around the plant is mandatory. They are also advised to treat their wastewater to a certain degree to remove all the resulting toxins before releasing it. In this case, the KPCL, the Karnataka Power Corporation Limited, cut around 700 to 800 trees all at once in a few days time. The Brihat Bangalore Mahanagar Palike cannot give permission to cut more than 35 trees at a time. So how did KPCL get permission? Where is the green belt? Why are they getting water from the Jakur sewage treatment plant, which is around 8 to 10 kilometers away, instead of taking water from the sewage treatment plant at Puttenahalli Lake? The Yelahanka Puttenahalli Lake and Bird Conservation Trust had filed a case in the Supreme Court and they had secured a stay order on the plant in 2022. Now, the Supreme Court has given the Karnataka Power Corporation Limited permission to run the power plant for six months and has directed them to collect data and submit results of the analysis to the court. Are six months enough to prove that the sound and air pollution, as well as the temperature rise, are and will affect our physical and mental health? How does one prove that respiratory diseases and lung cancer are a result of the power plant in six months? Our energy minister, Mr. K.J. George, recently asked the Karnataka Power Corporation Limited to start the power 
station as soon as possible and ask them to stick to the current deadline. Does our environment and ecology as well as health of the state's residents really matter so little to our authorities? From our TEL Bureau, thank you.